Hey guys, it's Vortex Weather here, and today we're going to be going over the new severe weather threat down south for Wednesday. This is so far only a slight risk, but it's possible that we could very well see an upgrade in the next few days. As current radar conditions go, there has apparently already been a tornado touchdown near Iowa City. It was very brief, but there is still a tornado warning out there portions of Iowa. And back to the weather models, it is picking up a storm that is obviously going to move through through Wednesday, and then a few more systems after that. But today we're going to be focusing on the nearest storm, which is on Wednesday. So far, this doesn't look as bad as a situation as the last one, but that can very well change as we've seen. Yesterday there was a day 4 slight risk, and today that risk is slightly bigger, including more of Arkansas and Mississippi. As you can see by the 500 millibar winds, you can see the storm move in, gain strength after crossing the Rockies into the south, and then there's actually a few more that come right after this, but we're not going to be focusing on those quite yet. And now we have the surface level winds shown here, which are basically the energy for these storms, or rather tornadoes. And there's not that much of it with the first system, or the next system, but this system on the 26th, though it does look concerning at first, this is most likely going to change, and if it doesn't, I will make another forecast video on it. As for moisture return, there is a decent amount of moisture return, especially in Louisiana, and then the next storm has some, and then this storm on the 26th has tons, but again, I don't expect, I expect that to change. As for Cape in the area, or potential energy for these storms, the first storm has a little bit to it, but again, this can change over time, so I wouldn't count on this, but again, there is a little bit of Cape there for these storms to grab onto and maybe produce a brief tornado or two. Now for helicity or updraft strength in the storms, there is a good amount of helicity for these storms to uh, grab onto and start rotating. So, you know, there is the possibility for a tornado in there, but I think this will be mainly a wind-driven event on Wednesday. Now, of course, that doesn't mean we shouldn't pay attention to this, even if it is a slight risk, because last time that slight risk became an enhanced risk and we had a tornado outbreak. And that was resulting in a lot of strong tornadoes and a few intense tornadoes as well. And this is basically most of the information we have so far, though more is coming tomorrow and the next day as we begin to learn more and more about this storm. And uh, it is possible still that we could see an upgrade to that enhanced risk. I'm not sure about the tornado potential right now, there's obviously some there, but this can change for the better or for the worse in the future. And if this does get upgraded to an enhanced risk in the future, I will make a forecast video going over that as well, with a new set of information. Also, if that storm on the 26th slash 25th continues to look like it does for the next few days, I will make a forecast video on that, as that so far looks the most concerning out of these three storms. Anyways, I think that's going to be it for today's video. If you liked it, please leave a like on the video and subscribe. And uh, I will see you next time. Bye.